Yo, what is going on, Eat Nation? We're back with some Madden 24 action, and today we're going over a phenomenal zone beater and absolute man torture in motion pump and go all the way to the right. We are on the Y off trips week formation in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. I'm going to be in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook until the air raid offense gets added into Mutt, and that's where the ebook is allocation is going to go to but until then this is a phenomenal playbook that has a lot of unique passing sets with really good running plays so i could easily have a nice bounced offense when needed and of course this play is going to be in the bears commanders and the spread playbook as well so you don't necessarily have to be in the chiefs but of course i'm going to be putting out a bunch of tips tips in the chiefs playbook so you might as well make the switch as well so we're in motion pump and go and of course we're going to start it off with some cover three so we got cover three on the defensive side and i want you to take note the fact that there are two zones on the right side of the field we got the deep blown here and then we got the curl flat here and why that's important is that the fact that we are sending three routes to that side of the field we can see our play art here pretty unique little play going on we got the motion flat of the running back going to the right side of the field he's going to be read number one we got the wheel route going to the right side of the field we have read number two and then the post route on olave he's going to be read number three now what we can do is we could put the tight end on a drag route or any route that you would like to realistically to make yourself comfortable or you could leave him on the block that he is by default on when you call the play and I like it. I'm on. A, I like him on a drag because uh, it sucks down the middle zones. It adds a little, just just a little dump off read that I feel like the opponent needs to respect, especially when he calls zone defense. And then what I also think is sometimes it sucks down the middle linebackers or distracts the user enough for that crossing route ran by Michael Thomas to get open across the middle. And he's going to be our last and final read. So we got three routes going to the right side of the field, which is why this is called a flood concept because like i mentioned earlier there's only two defensive zones on that side of the field and three routes and i'm no mathematician but that means one route should be open on the play so we're going to call hike and read number one like i said is going to be kamara on the motion flat now i wish i wish that wheel route would be a lead block but nine times out of ten he won't lead block for you but as you can still see it's a really nice quick hitter for you to pick up a quick five, six, seven, eight yards. Now, if you do throw it early enough, if you if you're able to just hike throw, or if you have like a gunslinger hike throw to the running back, a lot of the times the wheel route then will lead block for you. But um, people with slower releases, or if you just want to read the play a little bit, chances are they are just not going to be able to uh, throw early enough for that wheel route to lead block for you, which isn't too bad. You're still able to pick up a decent amount of yards. And if you're able to make the man miss, then, then you know, it's off the race at that point because you got the wheel route kind of lead blocking for you at that point. That is not how the cookie crumbles with it, but we're going to take our seven to eight yards real quick, real easy. It is the route that you want to hammer on your opponent to make sure that he respects it and either user guards user guards it himself or allocates his zones to stop it and until then that's what really unlocks the scheme is when he lowers the zones down but until then you're just going to hit it and force your opponent to do something about it picking up easy and consistent yards so one thing your opponent is going to try doing he's going to set his curl flat zones to zero go onto the line of scrimmage to try to stop alvin kamara on that motion flat and once he does that that wheel route is going to look real nice and juicy going across the sideline. Just boom, right to Traquan Smith. I usually like to give it an outside position pass. Pick up your easy 20, 30 yards. If you make that man miss, it's an easy touchdown. If you got a faster receiver in Mutt, then he's just going to blow by that cornerback. You don't even have to make him miss. He's just going to blow right by him. One more time. I don't want to. I don't want to waste your time too many times with repetition routes that you can clearly see is butt naked wide open a little bit more of a more advanced route the olave skinny post as soon as he cuts up field just you know go that and then moves up that's where you're going to hit him with an inside position pass and i usually like to possession catch it to make sure i don't get hit hard just right there kind of right there and boom right in between the zones if you're able to really fit it in there now the receiver has to catch the ball but you're able to just really just right as soon as he turns up field give him an inside precision pass. The skinny post is a route that I'll throw kind of in a two minute drill or a I need points quick scenario, just because you are gonna have to fit it in a tighter window and it requires just a little bit more of the fancier footwork placement of your uh, your throw and all that. But of course, if you hit the right side of the field on the flood concept multiple times, your user, he's gonna go there, right? So we're gonna man him up 
the, the middle linebacker on the wheel route to signify, okay, he's, he's tired of you throwing that wheel route, so he's going to go and guard it himself, right? That's going to be the user guarding it. And, of course, when he does that, that's when he really plays into our hands because Michael Thomas on that crossing route is going to be absolutely wide open across the middle. Just like that, you know, make a man miss, turn up field, or you can just dive on the floor and make sure you don't get hit stick. But it is a big chunk play. One more time, middle linebacker, the user, going to go take away that wheel route. Uh, I left the tight end blocking just because I don't feel like doing the adjustments. But just across the middle, easy, easy throw and catch. Now, you can also see the post route. He's starting to get open across the middle of the field. But I just find in my ultimate team games and everything that you just don't have enough time in the pocket to really consistently hit that post once he goes over the middle of the field, which is why I recommend doing it as soon as he cuts up. But let me try it real fast. I'll try it. Let me try it real fast. Let me see if I can hit him. When he goes across the middle, like right there, like it's there. If it was a better throw, then it's there. I just don't recommend it. So your opponent might call cover two to use the outside corners to drop down and stop the motion flat. And of course, just like with cover three hard flats or cover three with lower zone drops, it basically plays into the wheel routes hands. Just like that wheel route across the sideline. Same thing. It would just toss it, pick up nice chunk yards. Again, the user has to stop it manually himself. That was a poor throw. That could have been a much bigger chunk play than it was. So I feel like I need to redeem myself. So one more time, just like that, take across the sideline. If you got a faster receiver, that is an easy touchdown. And of course, your opponent still has to go to that side of the field if he wants to equalize. So now we got the middle linebacker taking away the wheel route, signifying the user going there. He got tired of you doing it. He's tired of you. He's tired of it, Grandpa. And then, of course, the, the crossing route across the middle of the field, that's where the middle linebacker typically would be. But now that's where Michael Thomas is getting his chunk yards. One more time. Just, you know, he, he's tired of it, Grandpa. But unfortunately, it just is too damn bad. You know, just right in the middle of the zones. I usually try to, like, undercutting a little bit just in case. But it's an easy chunk yard, easy to read play. Now, again, just like in cover three, the skinny post does get open in the middle of the field. But... Once again, you probably just don't have time to throw it. Two, it is a little bit of a just uncomfortable throw. It's there. It's just uncomfortable. And I don't recommend it when Michael Thomas is just open across the middle or, air, or the wheel route or the motion flat or the drag route. You know, there's too many open play, open reads on this play for you to sit there and make a tight window throw. I just don't think it makes sense or makes justifiable sense for you to try to do that. So one more time, and then, you know what, I'll put him on the drag route with the drag route. I think I hit the crossing route a couple times for you to understand. But the drag route just, is just is just simple. Pick up a chunk yard, pick up, you know, simple yards, and then, you know, you force your opponent to either respect it, do something about it, or um, you just can consistently pick up three, four, five yards on a consistent basis. You know, just like that, throw it, and then, you know, put your head down and try to pick up something, you know? So cover four is basically a different version of cover three. So I'll kind of skip it just for the sake of time. But overstorm, brave, man blitzing, something I see on a consistent basis in my head-to-head -head games or mutt games, I should say. We'll go over that real fast. So one, this still beats man defense. Your opponent still has to manually guard the motion flat. That is something your opponent has to do in man defense, specifically because now the zones don't necessarily kind of break on the ball as good as they could. You just do that, turn up field, same thing. Your opponent has to respect it or else you can just keep throwing it consistently, consistently, consistently. And when he does, and of course, that's when it's going to really be punished on him. So now the user goes and guards the motion flat, takes it away from you. Now on the complete opposite side of the field, Michael Thomas on his crossing route absolutely torches man defense. Just boom, you can pit, you know, rack it if you'd like, possession catch it. Other than that, you know, it's up to you and what you feel comfortable with. But I mean, it's just it's just consistently, especially in man blitzing, it consistently beats man. So you kind of have two man beating routes. I use other plays when I know it's calling like cover two or cover one to beat man defense. But if you get caught in a, a man blitz and you're unable to switch in a moment, just know that it's not the worst thing in the world. You are able to beat man blitzes. So that's going to wrap up this money play. I think it beats zone way too easily and it's able to torch man at the same time. I really like this play. I tried to keep it as short as possible just to save everybody from time. But if you really want me to deep dive the plays, let me know. But of course, that means the videos are going to hit much longer thresholds. But other than that, hey, good luck, everybody.